Good morning. It's the 24th of August, and this is your crypto daily debrief. We've got a few things to cover. Of course, the markets are very green, but green because of the Fed basically lowering rates. We'll cover all that. And then at the very end, there is a decent opportunity in order to get a lower interest rate on borrowing. So I'll tell you about that. So as we can see, green in the market, basically even the top 100, everything's essentially green. Only a couple of things, only basically helium's down slightly. So, so much green there which is to be expected, and uh, Solana just lift up 9%. So it, it's at 157, and if we go on to this uh, next tweet, basically the, the Fed said uh, the time has come for policy to adjust, so it's a rate cut coming in September. Even at this point, it was 145, you could have put on a long. You wouldn't have done uh, as well as we would have liked because you'd be jumping in with everyone else putting a long, but it was still, if you put on a little long there, you know, you would have printed a little bit. Anyway, so uh, Bitcoin demand in the US has spiked with this Fed signaling the cycle of a lower interest rate beginning. And there's a bit of a price premium on Coinbase, which is kind of common in the US when this happens. Now, Ansem went and set some homework, basically looking at the 200 altcoins on Binance, the top ones, and then having a look and seeing which one, one of these actually has potential. Someone went and did the homework for us, The Giver. So thanks to The Giver. Uh, plenty of uh, it will be linked below, of course. Plenty of decent decent research here. You can read through it on your own time. But if we come on down to the bottom, all the way down to the bottom here, Lister, Sui, Maker, Aave, and Not. These are the tokens that the person likes. A dose to a dollar of the cycle is probably likely. It's right now, I think, maybe 10, 12 cents. I do want a bit of Sui. Don't care about Maker. Aave, uh, it's probably going to do pretty well but I'm more interested in Camino and not this relates to the Ton network. This is like a, a bit of a meme coin play over there. I don't know what Lister is and I don't really care for Maker. Either way, have a look into these, have a look at the thread, see if these are some tokens outside the Solana ecosystem that you could be interested in. Ethereum Foundation deposited almost 100 mil of ETH to Kraken. So they, they send it there, they sell it however they want to sell it. They do whatever they want with whatever they want to do with it. They've got about $900 million or thereabouts. They're pretty good at selling uh, local tops, by the way. And uh, this is what the ETH BTC chart looks like. I look, I really wanted to take a bit of my, most of my ETH and just flick it to sell when it hit $4,000 and I should have backed myself there. We will use, I, nothing's financial advice, but we will use the Ethereum networks, but holding ETH itself, I just don't see how it's going to do as well as other network tokens. There's just not, it's just not super, super appealing to me, but I think base is fantastic. And I think uh, we, we can just certainly make some gains over on BNB, like good meme point players and whatnot, especially when CZ's out of prison and back kind of controlling things, even if he's not actually the CEO, but like he'll still have a, a direction that he's putting there. But just ETH by itself, I, I, I don't like it. Having a look at the crypto class Notion calendar for Solana, it says Solana, but we're going to have a couple of other things that are not Solana related. Today, nothing much. Just lock your bonk rewards with bonkrewards.com. I don't know why this has Simon's cap. That's just a mistake there. Uh, or no, not quite. Potent there could be a potential cat airdrop or a partnership for bonk holders. This is just speculation from the image teach, which, which we'll go over. A reminder, bonk dragon, lock your bonk to get the latest attribute. Do these things like as soon as you can. Otherwise, you will, you will forget. And the dupe voting group progression vote 4 p.m started yesterday and it goes for a couple of days i would prefer if everyone could do it today or monday latest that would be my preference anyway what this dupe dow vote is all about it's all about micro grants they want 150k that can fund 15 to 30 micro grants it's a good idea it's a good idea Vo I i'm voting for this is just a tutorial wallet with a a tiny amount of fun of dupe in it vote sign Vote whatever you want, but yeah, if you vote against this is this is a very small amount of money. Remember, there's ten million dollars in this Dow Treasury, which expands this. All we need is a couple of little working groups to start up and then be funded further, and these can create this crazy ripple effect where Jupiter literally becomes the center of crypto. And then what does that do for our Jupe bags? Not financial vice, but they'll be treated very well. What do we have here? Uh, Jupiter Lock. So this was covered in the Jupiter Jupiter Planetary Call. And this is a very cool feature. It is free and it's a token vesting and distribution tool. So you just, you can create a new token lock. Let's say you create a new meme coin. You can go this, you can lock a portion of it, have it vested, and it can be transparently seen so that there's people know you're not just going to dump, dump on them. Because right now, you know, someone comes up with an idea, they get the cabal, 
involved. They even launch a token. The dev wallet or the team wallets basically goes and snipes it with 10 wallets or so, and then they just dump on you. And that's how it's been for months and months, and people still playing it because but only a very select number of people are winning from it dupe charts with the perp stacks which is you know certainly would be pumping over the last 12 hours or so is uh it's doing very well uh and it has a now a low and a high low and a high so you can see that and if we go and have a look at it quickly dupe.ag go have a look at the perps yes accept and continue you can see it here just depending on the time frame like this zoomed out quite a bit zoom in and it just changes which i think is really cool so if you want to go put on a long at this point you know you're welcome to obviously the time would have been around 150 but it got up to 150 very very quickly so just a reminder with the dupe if you if you have got dupe and if you're not staking it i don't know what you're doing with it exactly unless you're using it uh, as as maybe collateral and a dap or whatever if you have locked your dupe, you have to go and vote with it. And that's the only way that you get these active staking rewards. And the next one will include a decent amount of dupe. 75% uh, of the launch pad fees from Cloud and Dbridge and any others that launch in this period as well. And that will probably come uh, maybe September, but maybe more likely October. I'd say kind of after breakpoint. Camino has gone ahead and increased the max LTVs for WIF and Bonk. These used to be 10%. And now they've been upped all the way to 40%. In this market, there's different ways you can do it. If you like bonk, you can go, but you need a loan. You can go and supply, let's say, uh, $10,000 worth of bonk. And then if you don't like WIF, you can borrow the WIF, go and sell it for USDC, and then do whatever you want with that. Or vice versa, if you don't like bonk. I mean, ideally, we like both of them, but bonk is my favorite. Or alternatively, if you don't want to go and PVP the other meme coin in this category, then instead, just go and deposit and then go and borrow some USDC if you want to pay your bills. DMD, who's a person I've never seen on my timeline before, has done some pretty decent research into Camino and why they think it definitely rivals Aave. I'm I'm on board with this, but this is something that you can look into. It will be linked below at the end of this stream. But basically, Aave, they are the GOAT. They're the GOAT of DeFi. The token's probably like $120 now or something like that. It's had an all-time high at over 100. They've just rebranded as well. Okay, $138, all-time high, 661. And even if we go back just a month, maybe three months is required. We, we had a low, this is the kind of crash period. But even still $100, like it's up 40% in recent times. And this has a market cap of 2 billion, billion FTV of 2.2. And if we have a look at Camino, it's nowhere near, it's not bouncing, it's not getting any attraction yet. It's up 10% though. It's got 76 million as a market cap. The thing with Camino is they, if you use Camino, you get points. If you go and connect a wallet and you start using it, you get points. Those points will give you in a linear fashion. So you can't go and uh, screw this over or try and cheat the system by having 50 different wallets. You will go and grab more Camino tokens with each season. So I claim the stake. 70 Camino, not much, 70 times 5 cents in the tutorial wallet. It's not crazy. The thing is, if you're just using drift.trade for just solely for borrowing, like go and deposit some soul or Jito soul or something like that, borrow some USDC, go and pay your bills, all that sort of jazz, you don't get any benefits over with drift. You have to actually trade with drift in order to get fuel. So that's why I prefer Camino. And all I'm basically doing, I mentioned this before, but I mentioned again, I'm just staking my Camino. I don't have as much as I'd like, maybe 40,000 tokens at present, maybe a little bit more. And then the other option you can do, and I am doing it with a small amount, is the Camino and PYUSD. When this dips down to like 25% or whatever, I'll, I'll withdraw the funds, but I'll keep you updated. All right. So there's this post. Here's a big, here's a big article on it to give it a good look to see if this is some sort of thesis that you want to get into. I personally would love, I'll get some a research to do a good deep dive on the tokenomics because I don't know if anything was covered here. Like for example, there's going to be unlock times from the VCs, investors, and team. And, you know, we want to try and realize some profits before that period, ideally. Here's a post from Dbridge. It's not changing my outlook on how I'm going to deal with the token. So I said, I have two wallets or I've got, sorry, four wallets that have that kind of in that tier system where they can get more, uh, they can get either get 80% now or 50% now and 50% later. And three of the four wallets I'm going to claim just immediately now. And the last one I'm going to hold out for that six month period because they are building stuff. They are the best bridge out there. And they've got five things here. Unlocking more chains, coin bridge, which I feel that they'll be able to do this better than anybody else. So that's kind of a little bit, be a little bit hard maybe for something like Zeus to do really well, but we'll see. And gasless bridging, 
not terribly exciting, but not for me, but exciting for just the world in general. Uh, same chain intense. This is just a zero TVL design. This is a little bit technical and social fire. I don't think this is going to be anything major. Just letting you know that they are building things. I just need to know why, why do we want, want to hold the token? Why don't we just sell it like we should have sold every other token, basically? We should have sold W and Tensor and Zeus. And the list goes on. The only ones that really I I think were far more worth holding, Jupe for sure, and also Camino. Even Cloud, like a little bit, like sell a little bit, keep a little bit, probably more of a thesis. With Dbridge, we need to know why. Simon's cat token. This is pure speculation, right? There's no one decent on Solana with a cat token that actually has brilliant branding properly. Let's just have a look at the biggest pop cat. All of this, this, this appeals to the low, the, the left-hand side of the curve, the lower kind of IQ aspect, uh, which is fine. It's still a market. This is the website. And I mean, it can still run up, of course, but can it take over socials? Can it get like normies in? Can it even convert mid curvers? I don't think it can. And I, I mean, I'm firmly sitting here most of the time in the mid curve. Every now and then I pop over to the right. It's hard for me to go over to the left. So this is speculation, but I believe that you know any sort of partnership would be good. This is probably why I was linked into the calendar to go and put in some bonk rewards and stake them. Maybe that works out well for you. Yeah, these two tokens I dig. Bonk. Remember with your bonk rewards, if it's expired, you need to go and either claim it because it stops re getting rewards or relock it. NX is doing the IDO, mentioned this before, but these are the dates coming next month, probably a little bit too soon in my opinion. We'll see what they're doing in terms of tokens. And their Discord was hacked. Probably need to do, I don't know how many people would follow it, but like how to basically run a project if you're a project. There's certain things you need to do with Discord and branding and transparency on what your product actually is. It is always disappointing when someone gets hacked. I mean, Parcel being hacked was like really bad and NX Finance being, they're a newer project with not as much in the way of funding. So it's disappointing, but I understand. They've now gone, it's now back to normal, but still for 24 hours, they're putting some security. Either way, basically what you want to do is you want to have very few people with administration access. You want to have someone that's professional set up the Discord and make sure everyone has two-factor authentication. Basically, they had a, it's a small thing. There were 12 users, 14K in assets. If you're one of them, go and open a, uh, a ticket or let us know once they've kind of opened and they will reimburse you. Their smart contracts and whatnot, they haven't suffered anything. It's just someone, I guess, went and posted a bad link. Coinbase assets have now enabled send and receive support for EuroC. So if you're in Europe and you want to start using the Euro stablecoin, you can now get this from Solana into Coinbase, and then you're good to go. Don't have it on Kraken, so I may flick over to use Coinbase to take our Euros out. Jesse's got a post on the NX Foundation community airdrop, and there's a little bit of kind of amor, amor aring, like, did I qualify? Did I not qualify? And I, I'm not really excited for this, to be honest. I've, I've already kind of mentioned it one one time, but I didn't. I haven't looked into to a proper like that. Maybe this is something that you're keen on. The thing is, you come to the website, and there's firstly there's a Connect Phantom wallet, and I feel like you should you should just have one Connect thing. So go and connect this. And we'll have a look. This this does have staked bonk, no allocation. So, I mean, I can go and check other wallets as well. Basically, the thesis is there's a few people that just have missed out. They've done this, they've this, 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 received zero. Uh, but yeah, firstly, they didn't have to do this. But if you're going to do it, you may as well do it right. And this is the post here. Uh, the actual token itself has a crazy fully diluted market cap. And I haven't looked into it, so I'm not going to say if it's worthwhile or whatever. I don't know what the airdrop is going to be. Just check your wallets and see if it's worthwhile. And also, the next bit of news, Herman's, they their official mint date is the 26th, so it's coming up soon. It's 1.5 sol. I didn't really cover this, as I mentioned the other day in a little bit of a post. You can go to hermans.club. You can go and connect your wallet. They've got some cool anima animations and IP play purely. I'm not super bullish on IP plays, but they're doing this cleaner than anyone else that I've ever seen. Like it's it's a wrong meta right now, but this is kind of how Mono did DJ Apes. It, it just kind of, it was clean. It was cool. They've got a pitch deck. You can check it out. And what you can do is you can think you can, you can go and link Metrica. It will go ahead and then you can click this and it will say, say if you, you know, what you want a lucky, I will probably grab, grab one of these from secondary. We'll see how it does. Look into it yourself. I'm only putting it onto your radar because I think this could be a cool thing to be a part of. It's kind of like the orphans, Topo's orphans. It kind of has that vibe, only it's a much bigger. And they have 5,000 supply, 55 is already being sold. So there's, you know, 
2,400 or thereabouts that are, will be going out. Now, the alpha of the day, before we get into the action rules, is back at Camino. If you go to Camino, and if you go to Borrow and Lend, everyone has PYUSD, but they know, no one has availability to actually borrow. I've got some USDC in here, probably don't have anything else. But right now, if there is a small amount of PYUSD that has been enabled, so get in there, you can now borrow at 3.29%. So I can go and borrow 100, right? Borrow this, this is free money. And for everyone watching the live stream, probably by the time this video is edited, that it'll be gone. We've got this here, and now we just come into here, PYUSD, supply it. Uh, it says I don't have enough soul in my wallet, so we'll just go and get a little bit more in the swap menu, bit of my PYUSD. It's worth, just for gas and whatnot, we can go and then deposit this, and then we're earning 12% on this. We're paying 3.69% to borrow it, or whatever it was, 3.29%. We're earning this, and on top of that, we're getting extra points so that we can get some more Camino tokens. And if you like this, you know, you can stay within your safe realm if you've got other assets in here like Jito Soul or something like that. Keep it safe, of course, but this is basically free money. You know that you can go and take this, put into Lulo, get 18%. The only reason I've just decided to put it directly in here is because like I know that I'm just getting points and I'm fine with it. Action rules for the 24th, 24th of August. The dupe vote is live. It ends the 27th of August, 4 p.m. UTC. You'll get your active staking rewards. Remember, download the Magic Eden wallet on mobile and mint the dog with hat. 100k prize pool. Like I've made this very, very clear. Soulflare is my wallet of choice. I'll just be jumping in, using it, and that's about it. I use Flocky Trading Bot to buy some cap if you're keen. Watch my video on Flocky Trading Bot. Stake a Millie Bonk with Bonk Rewards so you can get that Bonk Dragon. Airdrop actionables, just the same ones as before. Hold a minimum of 100k of $100 on, of Flocky on BNB or ETH or on actual Binance itself. Camino's due to sell soul media report for met points and stake 20 million bonk with bonkrewards.com. Don't know why the researchers have upped it to 20 million bonk, but it has been done. And probably the guess is as more and more people start to accumulate bonk, you're not going to want to go and give some sort of airdrop to everyone that's staking over 1 million bonk on bonk rewards, because that could mean 45,000 wallets or 200,000 wallets. So if you up it to 20 million, then it's, of course, it's more money. I think it's over $500 worth think, you know, then you're airdropping to the people that are most keen on actually holding and locking bonk. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. Remember tomorrow's Sunday. So remember to touch some grass, get some walks on, go use Moonwalk Fitness.